See, I overcome. Anyway, what's under the bridge and all that? Do you want another? It's more red. Hi, I'm Ria Renos. You're watching the fan carpet. Today we're in the lovely Edinburgh for the International Film Festival. And it's the premiere. It's starting with a British crime thriller. And it's called Hyena. It's basically about real police officers in London experiencing real situations which actually happen. And Gerard's such a fantastic director. Uh, his attention to detail was amazing. You know, a lot, a lot of the stuff he got from ex-policemen. It's like Icarus flying too close to the sun, I guess. He's done this very dodgy deal with his Albanian uh, gangsters that are a complete new breed of criminal. And things just spiral out of control for him because he starts making the wrong choices. He starts taking risks and chances. And the further he goes, the tighter the net closes on him. And it's very tense, and there's no way out on both sides of the law. You know, he's got the law after him as well as the gangsters. So, um, yeah, he's tangled a pretty nasty web. So that's basically it. Cocaine's bloody everywhere in London. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's coming out of the, uh, the drinking water. Um, I mean, it's. Ba I mean, I did a lot of research. Um, I mean. First and foremost, it's about the police, but uh, it also deals with drug dealers and everything else. So there was a, there was a hell of a lot of research, and it's, it's hard to sum up when it's four years of research into, into a big city. And it's not just London, it's just any big city. People might say, oh, the violence is terrible. It's not terrible, really, because it's what actually happened. It's just the fact that when we hold the mirror up to society and say, look, this is happening, that's when people go, oh, sure, it's terrible. It shouldn't be. And actually, it should be made because aren't we, aren't we the people that should show you what's going on? This is the underbelly of what's really happening today. I know about human trafficking before, actually, so I actually, yeah, I, I had already in the past done quite a bit of research on the subject for another project I'd done, and, but I think what was uh, my feeling about this one was how close I got to the subject and because I had to recreate some of the emotions that this particular woman that we sort of based our work on went through some of her interviews and reports. It's not her exact stories, it's one of many real stories, but I felt so connected with the pain that, that they go through, and yeah, it was quite hard in the sense that I, I just really lived those emotions through what I was reading, and it's so, it's so horrendous, and it made me feel very sad and very angry. Did you already know about the underbelly of London, or has it kind oh, of... I, yeah, I, I know. I, yeah, yeah. You know, I never went to Harvard. <laughs> on every kind of page, you know, I'm not an eating boy, am I? So, yeah, I don't know. It's a film that's deeply thought out, deeply meditated, uh, and, and a very, very honest film in that way, too. It's, it's no, no tricks in it. Um, so, although it's a film that I'm drawn to, in large part, for its style... Um, that doesn't at all mean it's, 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 it's a collection of, 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 of gimmicks. It, it's, 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 I think, a very, very coherent, very rigorous, uh, and uh, very intense film. Take the picture of Michael Knight. Yeah, that's amazing. It's been fun, you know, from day one. Uh, as soon as I got the script, and then I saw a London portrait of his, a Tony London, Tony portrait of a London serial killer, I, I was just mesmerized by the film. And I wanted to work with the director, and I wanted to work with Peter. He is my cousin, uh, Peter, so we've, we've obviously we've known each other all of our lives. Um, Peter's been an actor since he was knee-high. I got into directing a bit later, but obviously when I was making my short, he was the only actor I knew well enough to say, look, she fancies doing some acting in my shorts, and the relationship built from there. And now, um, yeah, this is the second feature we've done together. It was an idea that we've been throwing around for a long time, and it's something I really wanted to do. It was a character that I really wanted to play. Um, it, the, the character goes on a real journey. Uh, it's an emotional journey, but it's something for any actor to want to get their teeth into, really. Well, without going overboard and like making it ridiculous, I wanted to play a creepy, slimy, horrible twat who, who made you, you know, someone that you think was your best friend would sleep with your wife, given half the chance. 
that was the kind of character I wanted to play, which is hopefully is a million miles away from me. Well, it is actually. So that's me, mate, and that's me, wife. That's not me, but I just wanted to play someone that was really, yeah, you know, that had no no models at all, really. I like dark characters. I like characters that have uh, um, a tough time. Yeah. I also had um, a case study to work on, which was a, a young woman that was trafficked that Jared, the, direct, uh, the director, actually um, interviewed. So I had some of her reports, some of her interviews. That scene in the car took all afternoon. They did it from every shot, every angle, and... Yeah, it was a tough scene to do because he's trying to decide what to do and he can't go anywhere. He's hit a brick wall. He's gone as far as he can go. His life is in complete tatters. It, it is a work of fiction, though. OK, so we, we, need, to, we need to make sure it's a work of fiction. <laughs> It's great to open it. It's quite a shock um, because it's not going to be a nice cup of tea. It's quite controversial. It's quite a bold choice for the Edinburgh Film Festival. But I think that's great. That, that stirs things up a little bit, you know, to put a film in there that's going to probably shock a few people. It is violent, and we, we, we tell people that just so that they know what they're in for. But um, people will have seen more violent films. And uh, it's not a film that I think stands out only because of its violence or, or especially uh, for it. I've been to the festival before um, and had an amazing memory. It's people were very welcoming. It's uh, and they have, I think they have a really, really interesting selection of films, so it's really nice for us to be here. That opening festival is an honor, yeah. So that's it from us. You've been watching the fan carpet. Do remember to follow us on Twitter and we'll see you at the next premiere.